Hello everyone, this is Mitesh and welcome to our new video on Introduction to Web Development by Coding Ninjas. In this video, we are going to talk about what is web development, what are the types of web development like what is front-end web development, what is back-end web development and what is a full-stack web development. After that, we are going to talk about the scope of web development that if you learn web development now, where you can see yourself in the future. Is there any scope or any future for web developers or not? After this, we are going to look at a single page web application and you can call it as a hello world for web development. We are going to build that on the basics and the core of web development that is HTML and we can also call it as skeleton of web development. Okay, before doing that, before creating the introductory page, what we are going to do is we are going to install the development environment in which we will be writing our web development code that is VS code. So before jumping further, let us ask the main question. Who is a web developer? A web developer is someone who creates a website, who designs and decides the functionality of website that if you are going to click on a button, what is going to happen? If you're going to scroll down, what animations are going to show up? And also, if you're storing some information, if you're storing sensitive information or normal information, where that information are going, how those informations are getting stored, what is the pathway of that information to travel from front end to back end or from you to the database? What is that way? What is that path? That this all thing has been decided by a developer. And also, whenever someone recalls that information, how that information is going to get retrieved and go back to the user. This whole things are decided by a web developer. Believe me, web development is playing an important role in the modern world. Through everyday process, you are scrolling through many amazing websites without even noticing. And web development is the future. If you look at web development, many small businesses are going online and they want to sell their products. They want to sell their business idea. So there is a huge requirement for web developers, either through freelancing or through startups or through big companies. You can decide wherever you want to go or if you want to build something on your own as well. Web development is that simple. So let's talk about what is a front end web development. So front-end web developer is responsible for the basic look of website. Whenever you open a website, the way that website looks has been designed by the front-end web developer. The way that website is going to look on bigger screens like the screen of laptop or computer monitors or the way that website is going to look when we log in that website through mobile phones or small screen devices. This has been taken care by a front-end engineer also Front-end web developer looks for the functionality. Let's say we click on a button, then what's going to happen when we click on a button? That has been decided by front-end web developer. Also, let's say we are submitting some data or we're giving out some data to the website. Where that data is going to go has been decided by front-end web developer. Now, talking about the data, that data is going to go from front-end to the back-end. Now, when the data goes to back-end, what happens? So let's talk about backend development now. So in backend development, generally backend developer deals with data. So a data has been gathered by backend developer and backend developer stores the data. Backend developer generally stores the data in such a manner that whenever a user calls for that data or any information, backend developer has to retrieve that information in the, in the shortest amount of time possible. So backend engineer deals with data and data request. Uh, this one more thing that backend uh, engineer do and that is creating a pathway of data to come and go. That has been done by a backend engineer and this path is generally named as API. There are more roles of backend engineer. We are going to deep dive into front end and backend engineers later on our videos. So I'm just currently giving a brief description about web development, front end web development and back end web development. So now that we have talked about front end web development and back end web development. So a person who knows both of these and who can perform exponentially well in the front end web development as well as back end web development. So that person is known as full stack web developer and he can perform any of the tasks. 
in short he can he can develop a website on his own he can use his knowledge of front end as well as back end and develop a website now we are going to uh, install our development environment So we're going to install VS Code. You can directly go to any browser uh, and you can go to google.com. So on google.com, search for VS Code. VS Code download. So the first link you're going to get is code.visualstudio.com. You can go there. So currently I'm working on Windows and if you're working on Mac or Linux, you can uh, choose that as well. So I'll be choosing Windows. So I'll be downloading that. So you can see as soon as I click, uh, a setup has been uh, initialized. Download of a setup has been initialized. So let's go there. Let's install this now. So I'm going to run it. So I'm going to click next. So we're just going to choose the, the default path and we are just going to click next and install. So you can see that after the setup has been run, now you're going to finish it. So after finishing, we are going to open Visual Studio Code. So you can see that we have opened Visual Studio Code. Now we are going to create a folder or a directory where we are going to store our files. So you can select whatever path you want. Uh, we are going to create a new folder named as Coding Ninjas. We're going to select that folder. Now that folder has been selected, we'll be directed to this page. What we want is we want to create a file from which, uh, in which we are going to write some web development code and run, run those files. So before doing that, what we are going to do is we are going to install something. So we're going to install extensions. So in Visual Studio Code, you can go to extensions and here you can search for live. So the first option that appears is called live server. You just have to go here and install it. I have, uh, this has been already installed in my computer. So uh, for you, I'm installing it and I'll install it again just to show that. So you can see that live server is now been installed. So what is the role of live server? So let's say I'm uh, making a website. So uh, whenever I make any changes to my website that is directly going to appear on the web page. So to show this, let us create a website first. So we are going to create new file into a directory. Let's name it hello world, hello world dot html hello world dot html inside this uh, we're going to write some html code so this is just an introductory video so you don't have to like uh, focus more on uh, what are these tags this is just to show and just to like show what is web development and how a website is written and how easy it is to write a website, how easy it is to make a website. So I have just only written like one line of code and I can also reduce it to only a single line. And if I write here, hello, world, hello world. If I only write this, uh, this is now become a website. Uh, if we like open it in a browser, this will run and this will show this result hello world. So wherever you have created your directory, you can directly go there. So, so this is my folder where I have created this file. So if I create on the hello world.html, 
you can you can see that after like clicking on that website this is going to direct us to this page so this is our first website and if you want we can write we can change the code as well so so if we save here and we refresh on our page you can see that there are some changes so this is the first website that we have made and i hope you are following along so you have till now you've uh, installed vs code and you have written this code so this is like a small website let me uh, show you some more examples of website so let us now talk about front end and back end web developer through an example so here we have been uh, taken an website so in this website you can see that uh, it is just a basic login page so uh, if we talk about front end at firstly let's talk about front end so front end also has uh, html css and javascript so let's first talk about in that also html so html as i have mentioned before html is a skeleton of the website so html decides the content of the website what are the contents written on the website so let's say i have written this heading here so this heading has been decided by html this login has been decided by html or has been implemented by html and now talking about the css so css is the styling of the website the color schemes the background the font and the font style font uh, font size everything has been decided by css so you can see here that we have a blue shade here and another shade of blue in the background so this shade of blue in the header and shade of blue in the uh, in the uh, background has been done and implemented by css now let's talk about javascript or the functionality of the website so talking about the website uh, whenever we try to log in so this is currently a login page whenever we try to log in we usually try to send that information to the back end and initially before sending that information in the front end we are going to check that whether is there some information or not let's say currently both of these fields are empty now if we try to hit login we are going to send no information to the back end and we don't want that we don't want to send a uh, useless informations to the back end or to the server so before doing that in the front end we are going to check that whether there is some information present or not so as soon as i click this button this login button the functionality of this login button is to check that whether this two fields are empty or not and after checking that it is going to send a request to the back end and back end is going to uh, tell us that whether we whether this re uh, request has been fulfilled or not or whether the password is correct or not and in either of the case if we logged in to the website then it is uh, back end is going to send that information that please let this user uh, log in to the front end and then front end is uh, like uh, using some functionality func uh, front end is going to redirect us to a new page that is like the main page uh, the page which comes after login so it depends on website to website so let's say you are on some uh, social networking website after logging in you will uh, get redirected to the main website so let's talk about the functionality here so let's say i click on login and you can see that we have encountered a, an an error now so this error is, is like uh, the main functionality of this button and another functionality is let's say you are a new user and you want to sign up so if you click on the sign up you can see that we have been redirected to the new page with a sign up page so this functionality this redirecting of pages functionality has been done by a javascript or this is the functionality of the button it has been determined by a front end engineer now let's say if we write our name here so let's say we have written coding ninjas and email as coding @fun.com all right so coding is fun.com and let's set them let's set some password as well now uh, let's say we have like uh, not written the same password so you can see that password do not match so this functionality this checking of fields has been done by front end engineer so front end engineer is initially checking that whether these two fields are correct or not then only it is going to send the information to back end so let's say now we have written the same password 
so again this is not the same password okay so uh, we have registered successfully and it is going to redirect us to the login page now we now we try to log in so our id was coding at rate1.com so now let's give some wrong information so let's say i have written the password wrong so you can see that this is incorrect password and this information is not with the front end engineer so for what front end engineer is going to do is front end engineer is going to send this information to the back end and then back end is going to is going to say that the email is correct but the password associated with it is incorrect so back end is going to tell us that information that uh, you what password you have written is incorrect and then uh, we can write the correct password if we write the correct password it is going to redirect us to the website now let's say this is a website so you can see that there is a lot of information in this website so the thing is that there are some things like information and uh, from where this information is coming and how this information has been shown so the way this information has been shown has been decided by front end engineer and the way this information comes uh, is through an api and has been decided by back end engineer so what in, uh, what information should uh, come and in what format should that information be coming is has been decided by back end engineer so let's say back end engineer gives a lot of information now it's the duty of front end engineer to uh, to show all of this information in this format or in any format and uh, let's say someone wants to search something so let's see someone want to search bitcoin so this is going to redirect us to the bitcoin so this search functionality has been done by front end engineer and if we if, and if we also try to log out let's say we click on this icon if, and if we try to log out this also has been done by front end engineer so let's say you have learned html or basics of node or in short you are learning any other programming language so you can go to coding in just website inside that there is a guided path section so if you go to the guided path section there are several guided paths and you can choose a guided path according to your need so let's say you are preparing for data structure and algorithm you can go to that guided path or let's say currently if you are going with web development you want to learn fundamentals of html so you can open this uh, guided path and uh, the thing is that in this guided path uh like all of their information has been given in order so like uh, there are documentations there are, are some exercises so you can go here and try this document you can try to read this documentation you can try the exercise uh, try this exercises and try some questions as well so i hope by now you have understood what is the role of front end engineer and what is the role of the back end engineer and if you know and if you are able to perform both of these things you can become a full stack engineer So if you have watched the video till now please don't forget to like the video and also subscribe to coding ninjas youtube channel all right so thank you